here's, here's, here's the crazy part, man. Here's the crazy part. I talk about, but not to everybody. Um, my house where I live at. The reason why I have the house that I have right now with a recording studio and a big backyard and everything is because I bought it from a guy named Johnny Otis. Johnny Otis was the godfather of rhythm and blues back in the 60s, 50s and 60s. And his claim to fame was uh, the movie Back to the Future. Mm. They gave him a shitload of money for Back to the Future to, to uh, be in the soundtrack and uh, in the movie and, and on the album, of course. And he made enough money. He just pulled up stakes one day and said, I'm out of here. Bought him a mansion in, in, uh, in uh, Altadena and left the house that I live in abandoned completely. So one day, he may come to my house. It may be abandoned because I'm going to get a shitload of money from someplace. <laughs> <laughs> And, I hope to follow in his footsteps. And this house that you're living in right now, for everybody who doesn't know, is tell us about the history of, of what was actually recorded in that house. Well, I mean, if you want to go back uh, to before I bought it, I mean, a lot of stuff with Edda James and people like that. But then later on, when I got it, uh, when you see when you see the movie straight out of Compton, uh, and Easy E is back there doing his demo for the first time, that was that was done in my house. Uh, all the stuff from CMW initially was done in my house. Um, in fact, I was just talking to un- unknown that just called me right now. We, we're talking about some issues right now, a computer problem I got. But the whole CMW album, the first one, was recorded in my house. In fact, I gave him my main room and built a sub room behind the studio in, 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 a, in a corner and rented my room out to him so he can do the CMW album. We did the whole Compton's Most Wanted album back there. So, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Compton's uh, Most Wanted and the Compton, Compton, first Compton compilation mm-hmm. and the second Compton compilation. Mm-hmm. So the house has a lot of history. And uh, as I say, at one point in time, it was, it was if you came through there, it was like watching House Party. If any of these kids ever watch the House Party movie, you see all the stars in the House Party movie that's blown up. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. that's how my house was that's back crazy, in the day. I mean, man. you got to. You got a young Easy E, a, a broke Dre, a broke Yella. Uh, uh, you got Warren G, eight nine years old. You got DJ Pooh. You got uh, Def Jeff, Body and Soul, D Barnes. Wow. I mean, you got you know just every t- Tone Lope, Toddy T. Everybody was at the house. I mean, at every at any given time, they just come through. Steve Yano from Swap Meet, he'd be over there picking up records for me. I got studio session going in the back. Um, Rose and Dean maybe cooking some tacos or something. I mean, that was just my house was a mix of Friday compared and Friday and house party mixed together. Damn, dog, you okay. just that's so crazy. I just pictured that, and the crazy part is you, you only have those images in your head because we didn't have cameras all in our face. Didn't, didn't, we, you know, we have a few pictures, not a whole lot, dude, yeah. not a whole lot. I was watching the uh, Banging on Wax uh, uh, series that you did recently, which is so good, man. I was so addicted to that series. Thank you. Um, I make, thank make sure you. everybody check it out on um, NWA Stories with Alonzo. Um, just type in Banging on Wax, and you'll you'll find it. But um, you, were, you you talked about the Watts stacks, and the, tell me about the story specifically and kind of what led up to it, the events that led up to it uh, where with Jesse Jackson and the Crips. Well, you know, uh, it was funny, man. That was my first concert. I was 16 years old. It cost a dollar to get in. It was the 70s, man. And everybody had a natural and leather coat. Leather coats was the shit back then. And um, the, the, whatever football team, I always got it confused with the Rams or the Raiders. They had a deal with the uh, Coliseum because the concert was on a Saturday. They didn't want to mess the field up. So they said, you could have the concert, but can't nobody dance on the field because you messed the field up for tomorrow's game. And every time the music would start, everybody would run out the stands and run down to the to the field and start dancing. And they stopped the concert, make everybody go back in the uh, stands again. And it kept on happening. It kept on happening. As soon as the music played, they run back to the to the, uh, to the to the field. And Jesse Jackson got on the stage, got on the microphone, and like, "We are you are somebody. Stop acting like a fool." Blah 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 blah. <laughs> folks was pop pop. Folks was locking. I mean, locking is just it, man. Folks was, you know, Soul Train was the number one TV show in L.A. And, you know, people wanted, you know, nobody didn't want to sit down. We weren't ready for no sit-down concert yet. And um, at some point in time, he uh, told, you know, the Crips was out there. He told the Crips to form a human chain around the field, the uh, track field, and um, keep everybody out of the, out of the, uh, off the, off the track. And they did that. 
and of course, guys who weren't crips joined hands, trying to you know have access. And man, two people came down. They was beating the shit out of people. How you doing, babe? The cops went behind. The cops threw their hands up and walked behind <laughs> the stage, and just it's like gave up. Like you know, with y'all, y'all want to do this? Y'all got it. And it was crazy as hell. And it was like, what are you doing? And you know, Jesse. At some point, they realized they messed up. So they uh, they had to uh, you know, uh, Crips had to had to come off that right there and do something else completely. Damn, what a scene that must uh, have been, dog. <laughs> uh, was, all right. But it was really interesting. It is uh it was it was almost frightening to see him. I'm like, what are you doing? Do you obviously don't know obviously you don't you have no idea what you're dealing with and the police are like, No, but we ain't we ain't gonna do nothing. The whole um security force, the police, L A P D went and sat down behind the stage up in the sta- up in the stands and watched the crypts uh beat the shit out of everybody in the stands that came on the field. God damn. <laughs> The rest of that day, they the rest of that day, they were taking people's leather jackets like it was nobody's business. In fact, it was so crazy, man. I was in the bathroom. I didn't have a leather jacket, but I was in the bathroom. And when they walked in the bathroom, brothers was in mid piss. <laughs> they was mid in mid piss. <laughs> Just pull off their jacket and gave them to them and wash their hands and walked on out. Damn. Either either give up the jacket or get your get beat out of it. You know, get get your ass mm. beat in it. Okay, you know. Brother never stopped pissing today, man. He goes, you can hear. You know, and it was, it was, it was sad, but it was funny. Yeah. But it, it is what it is, man. It's a part of the history. Oh, a colony is coming. But it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. So. I'm at a crossroads every damn day Looking back in my past when I sleep But living on the edge now I'm doing enough Iniquity down to my feet What do I do when I need a little food And I gotta get the money for the rent Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord Come on son, he can give me some money, repent What, what, thank you I really love you baby so I spank you Life is a wet straight fucking you up Living in a prison, I'ma shank you so what's love got to do when it went it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me under my she stories get told and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave and everything gonna be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing But not in a day, we'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfi Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't Oh, nothing to no one, darling, just listen, and it'll be just like starting over. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight, baby, ignore the rain, and everything gonna be okay, and while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline, and I'll be biding my time, till I can ride the wave. Then everything gon' be okay. I don't even know why I'm here. Wanna be on a beach somewhere. Be kicked up in my chair. Smoke all up in the air. Clouds are looking lovely. My girl is by my side. My gun is by my side. But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear till it's only you wishing someone cared. Filling out the window. Is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? Since God wanna play these fucking games, I'ma take it there. Bang, bang. And I spy with my little mind's eye. Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain. And everything gon' be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline. And I'll be biding my time. Till I can ride the wave. Then everything gon' be okay Hey, hey, hey
Let me slide on in like I hit a home run. Bottom of the night, I get the job done. Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna. Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya. Reminisce, swing your memory. Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head keep on urging me. Tell them about the story, hate the game from the hood. All about the paper, many years misunderstood. Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage. Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay. Fucking up your frequency. Got you moving and grooving to a kind of town estate. Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe. Taking you on a ride and listening to better night as long as you recognize the eyes and the sky. I spy with my little mind's eye. Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight. Baby, ignore the rain. And everything gonna be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline and I'll be biding my time. Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay